If you're looking to learn how to smoke Bonita, you've come to the right place. My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly, and where my goal is to help you cook your catch over a thousand different ways. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is mix up my salt and my sugar. Now I'm going to go for a dry rub brine instead of a wet brine. And that tends to accelerate the brining process. I, I only plan on brining for four hours. So I've got two pounds of brown sugar. And two pounds of salt, one to one. All right, now I'm going to mix this up. What a perfect tool for this. There we go. Let's, <laughs> a little bit of a mess. Let's go get the fish. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to clean our fish. And I love cleaning Bonita because the gut cavity is not very deep. And there's no scales. I love that. I always go in through the gills and I cut the uh, esophagus out with the gills and now the innards. Wow. There isn't much to clean. Look at that. There's one. Awesome. And here's the second one. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some of this salt and sugar mixture on the bottom of this pan. Just like that. And then let's get in our first bonita. Fill up the head. Fill up the gut cavity, there we go and lay it on in there. Cover that puppy up. Okay, let's go for number two. And we'll lay number two in just like that. Lay that down in there like that. And pour the rest of this over. There we have it. Okay, I'm gonna put some plastic over this, put it in the refrigerator, and let it sit for four or five hours. Okay, these have been in the refrigerator about four, four and a half hours. It's time to take them out and rinse them off. Wow, you can see the skin is already starting to wrinkle. The next step, is to allow the fish to dry out and develop a pellicle skin. The pellicle skin is actually protein that forms on the outside. That protein will grab a hold of that smoke and it'll make, give you that nice smoky flavor. So you have to let your fish develop that protein, that pellicle skin. That can be done on two ways. You can put the fish on a rack with a fan over it, or you can put it in your refrigerator, which is perfect because it's cold and dry. So that's where I let the pellicle skin develop on these bonitas. Okay, I've got my smoker at 220, so I'm ready to put the fish inside the smoker. Here we go. There we go, there's one, and there's two. Perfect. All right, gang, just to summarize, so we immersed the uh, bonita in the dry rub, the salt and the sugar, for four to five hours. We let the bonita dry off and develop a pellico skin. That took another two or three hours. And now it's gonna be in the smoker for exactly two hours 
between 220 and 230 degrees. And that's all it's gonna take. I look forward to every summer to catch some bonita and smoke them. And the ones that I don't gobble up right away, I wrap up or I vacuum pack and put them in the freezer so I can enjoy them later. But I'll tell you, one of my favorite ways to eat this is with just some good olive oil and some lemon or some lime. And as an appetizer, it's absolutely stunning. Anyway, I hope you guys give this a try. And I am so tempted to just gobble this up right now, but I gotta wait another hour and a half and they'll be ready. Okay, it's been exactly two hours. It's starting to get dark. And I'm sitting at about, I was sitting at 220 and now I'm starting to drop, I'm at 218. I think it's time to actually check the temperature of the fish. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna take them all the way out. I wanna get into the thick part of the meat here. I'm not gonna touch the bone, but I wanna get in the thick part. And that way, and now we'll run over and check our temp. That's the, the temperature I'm looking for between 130 and 140, right on. So I'm really happy. It, at 135 degrees, that's perfect. Wow, look at that. Wow. Oh my God. Wait till I go inside with this. Oh, and it smells so smoky. That's awesome. All right, gang, so here we have it. Smoked Bonita. I'm telling you, I am so excited. I wait for this all year round. And what am I gonna do with this Bonita? I'm gonna make sandwiches with it, I'm gonna make salads with it, and I'm gonna tear off the meat, dip it in a little bit of olive oil and lemon, and just enjoy the wonderful flavor of Bonita. As a kid, I used to eat smoked and salted Bonita from Greece all the time. Listen, if you guys like today's recipe, or if you have any questions about today's recipe, Ask them down below in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe that way you can keep up to date with all my new recipes. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.